today's video, I want to show you my top AI tools that I use on a mostly daily basis for either automating stuff, for creating new AI chatbots, or even for just debugging. I created a neat presentation so we can just check out how that looks, see if you like any of those, or if you can use any of those for your own business. Let's get started with the first one, which indeed is probably one of the newest one for myself, or the newest one to our collection which is VoiceFlow. VoiceFlow is basically a chat builder that allows you to build chatbots visually with no code and low code tools so that you basically don't need to use any code to create an amazing and beautiful chatbot that you can implement to your website into another platform like Slack or with WhatsApp or tons of other services. The beauty of this platform is that it automatically integrates a knowledge base so you can just feed it custom data from around the web or from your very own resources and can train it on it. So it's actually able to interact with your knowledge base and can give you information back specifically to the documents you feed it. It accepts text, it accepts PDF, it accepts website URLs, anything you can imagine. You can just add into it, it will categorize it inside of a vector database so you don't need to do anything for it. It's actually all happening behind the scenes. As I mentioned here, it's easy to use, it has predefined templates so you don't even need to create the chatbots completely from scratch but you can just use what they already did for you. They already have predefined customer chatbots, they have financial chatbots, they have knowledge based chatbots, they have everything predefined so you can literally just create an account for free, you can download, import this template and try it out for yourself. It is also infinitely extendable, which basically means that you can integrate it with other platforms that are not even on their service. This works through the power of webhooks and APIs, so you can connect it to other things like make.com, Zapier, to other tools and services like QuickBooks that all have APIs, so that you can interact with them and can actually do more with your chatbot and enrich it with data and actions that directly work in correlation with the user input. The second platform I want to talk about is make.com. It is a workflow automation service, which basically means you allow other services to talk with each other so that you don't have to do that work manually. You can think about it like having an online shop and a new order comes in and now you want this order to be added to your bookkeeping software or and after that you want to send a custom email to the user. And all of those things would usually have to be done manually if there's not a predefined integration. But thanks to tool like, tools like Make, you can make it super simple in a visual way without actually knowing how to code in any way. Of course, it makes sense to have knowledge about JSON. That's something I always preach anyways. And of course, it has a free plan, so you can just try it out for yourself if you like it or not. And it's super powerful right from the start. The third tool I want to talk about is called Qdrent, and this is a bit more a technical one, so I'll just scratch the surface of it. It is basically a vector database where you can store the information in a vector format. So. You basically use a large language model to translate your prompts or your input into vector points and then those vector points can be stored within a vector database. The reason why I choose Qdrunt is because it's an open source software and you can self-host it on your very own infrastructure. This makes it super powerful as well as secure in a certain way because you have full control over the data so you don't share it with any other cloud provider. The easiest way to do that is probably using a digital ocean server, just deploying their build on it and you're happy to go and try it out for yourself. The next tool I want to talk about is Postman. And Postman is one of those amazing all-rounder tools for testing. So it is basically built to create APIs or API documentations in some way as well that you can use directly from your computer to test APIs and webhooks without the need for any other tools or even like some other online software. It is as well super good for creating something called collections, which basically is the bundled version of, of APIs, so you can set variables and distribute them within all of the API and webhook calls. This also allows you to share them with your team or share them with your community. They can import all of those endpoints and can use them, adjust them and try your service or whatever you offer out by themselves. And the best of it, they have an amazing and really, really powerful free version. So I never really upgraded to a pro version. Probably you don't need to either because it's super powerful right out of the box. The next tool is called webhook.site and what this does is it captures information from a specific request. Let's for example say you want to test what happens within a specific element inside of your voice flow chatbot that sends data to let's say make.com. You can use a tool like webhook.site to capture the information that is actually sent along from things like the headers that are sent, the body that is sent, the authentication that is set all of those things and this is an amazing tool for debugging and the best is you can also share it with your teammates because the url can be shared on multiple or within the browser so mostly any, every one of your teammates can can see the results of it and it's of course free as well so you can simply go to webhook.site and try it out for yourself the next tool i want to talk about is called json formatter 
And like the name already says, it's about formatting JSON text strings. So JSON is a specific format that is used for machines and computers to read data and structure it in a format so that they can actually understand it. And this is super important because this kind of format is used in a majority of all the online services and APIs and webhooks. So the data they send through and they actually read and manipulate is mostly JSON. The reason I, this is one of my main and go-to tools is because it can fix JSONs, it can make them beautiful, so you can understand them as a human better. So whenever you see some kind of JSON coming through either your webhook or your REST API or anything else, you can simply drop it in there, it formats it for you, it fixes problems, and you can see it in a visual way what belongs to which hierarchy or which level of the JSON. The good thing is, it helps you to debug in a super fast way and it is free as well. The last tool I want to talk about is called JSON Editor. And what this tool does is it basically allows you to manipulate the JSON directly within your browser. So with JSON Formatter, you formatted it in a nice way. You can then copy this nicely formatted or this beautified version of the JSON, drop it into your JSON editor and manipulate it there so that you can redistribute it either to your actual software or to some testing environment or whatever, which again helps to just avoid errors with the JSON format because it's very simple to break the JSON format as you probably know with things like double quotes that are unescaped or line breaks. So this is an amazing tool to just edit the things visually and get feedback as well if something is broken. On top of it, it is also free so you can simply try it within the browser under jsoneditoronline.org. That's it for now as a very small brief so that you get a better understanding of which tools I am using on a daily basis to create my automations or to create my AI chatbots for our business and for our clients while actually speeding up the workflow, reducing human errors and getting just more quality data and more quality products out there. I hope you liked the video for now and if you have any questions, feel free to drop your comment down below and I'm very happy to share some more info on it.